Yeah, so in Atlanta, I think I had two paddles fail. Okay. Out of seven. Okay. I think. Um, Do you take then, all seven in to get tested in that moment? No, I actually, I brought four paddles with me to okay. Atlanta and okay. I had two out of those four fail. Okay. And those were two that I had been playing with for a while. Okay. And then I was a little panicky about that. So I had James bring me three more from home mm. that were new. And those all passed. So the older ones are failing because they're delaminating a little bit. So they come off yeah. a little faster. Yeah. But doesn't, does that, so do you but then? I, I, I don't even know. Like You don't notice it? I don't know if it's, D, I guess it is delam. Like I, 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 I can't like speak on. Like, do you prefer a used too. in paddle or a new paddle when you're used playing? Used in, used. Oh, you do? Because yeah. it's a little bit hotter. Yeah, it just feels better. Like they kind of like um, soften up. They feel more. Yeah, it's it's a little just, more trampoliney. There's a little more feel, but yeah, also a little, more a little more kick when you go to push. I don't know. The main thing is it's hard to explain, but yeah, it just I think most pros prefer something you've used for like a week. You, you want to use it a little bit before you go into like a tournament. Okay. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Travis is actually the opposite. I think I don't. I'm speaking for him right now, but he tends to like really fresh paddles because they're the they're the roughest. Yeah, there's also the grit. Like some people, I guess some people like brand new for grit purposes. Whereas yeah. My, my game isn't too grit dependent, actually. Like I don't, uh, I don't really hit with much shape. Gotcha. I think that it is for him. He really likes when it's fresh because he'll like it'll be like a week old and he's like, he'll like toss the paddle and be like, I need a new one to pull a new one on the back because he just wants that feel. He wants that That's spin funny. that he misses that. It's like, we're talking about maybe like a half inch of spin and he's like, yeah, I need that. Like, okay. It's funny. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think men are much more anal about that stuff, but this was actually funny. So at the Yola clinics, once I just left a paddle out and uh, I saw like Leia go over and like feel it. Like she wanted to know if I was getting like Different. special, special oh, paddles. Yeah. And, then, and then I was like, what you think Leia? All a Yola representative, somebody with boxes, and these boxes fit, I think, like fifty or hundred paddles, and they were just pulling them out one by one at the testing center no. to try to get some to pass. It was crazy, yeah. And these are like, new paddles, not yeah, used. Paddles are failing left and right. I think I my paddles did a lot better than other people's, which I thought was funny. It's like, do I get special treatment or do I not? Right. <laughs> like, like, am I getting like not hot paddles, not gritty paddles, right. or are they like choosing to pass mine? It's like, right. which is yeah, it? I don't yeah. know which it is. Yeah. But I think in my first batch, I think I had like half of mine fail. Well, um, how many is that? Like in a batch? I, I gave batch. them, I think I gave them, I either gave them four or six. I oh, don't okay. remember. Okay. And two or three failed. Two okay. or three failed. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, uh, but then, so I did okay, whereas some people had, some people with YOLAs were, and also it wasn't just YOLO though, like tons was, were having oh, trouble, like yeah, every, every OO2 is out of play. Right. Like I think even like Zane, like with ProXR was having Engage like- Engage was yeah. having problems, yeah. all the companies. And like ProXR like was totally fine in, in Atlanta, like pretty much no failures. Right. And then they were like, Zane was having a like some fail. But then after that, it was tough for me. Like before the, the, the paddle I had been playing with in group play failed, then the paddle I played with after the semis failed. So I was using a brand new paddle for the final. Mm. Uh, which is fine, but uh, you know we were we were rushing to get a paddle to pass, and I had an hour, an hour essentially between hour and fifteen between the end of the semi and the final, so that was pretty stressful. Well, so um, these are paddles that passed in the beginning of MLP Dallas, but then failed like on day two. Same yeah, like paddle? one of one of mine failed not because of a change in deflection, but because they spot test grit. They test grit on like and it 20%. came high. They, they test grit only 20%. So in the first initial pass, wow. they didn't test the grit. Then it, cause I was like, I was like, I haven't even hit with this paddle. And they were like, it was grit. Like we spot test the grit, wow. which is fine. But I was kind of annoyed about it, of course. Oh, yeah. Cause it's like this pass and now it fails, but it's, it's kind of tough. And then in, and then, you know, the same company goes to Daytona. And then that was kind of a mess too. Right. That was kind of a mess too. And then it's kind of like paddles are not failing at the same rate. And it's like, there's just really a lack of transparency. And yeah. I don't know that. It's a lot of people's fault. Like, there's not one finger to sure. blame, but it's like the paddle companies are upset because it's like they're not testing to USA pickleball standards, right. and paddles are made to USA pickleball standards. And the paddle companies can't afford to have like these paddles work for APPs, these paddles work for PPAs, these paddles are MLP paddles. Like, there needs to be a uniform yeah. standard, right. and so that's frustrating for them and for players, of course, too. And then it's like no one knows is the PPA testing to the standards that they liked. Or, or is PPL testing to MLP standards? Right. 
you know, Jill Braverman, you know, I don't know what her source is, but says that the standards change mid event, like that obviously can't be happening. Right. And then, and then I personally had like, it's also like, how good is their test? Like, why is there such a big change from Atlanta to Dallas? Right. You know, because I also had a paddle pass on mixed day. I had two paddles pass the morning of mixed day. I played with one of them. The next day I give the same two paddles back for women's day. One fails. It's one I didn't even touch. Wow. And I, I asked them, I was like, is this a grit or deflection fail failure? The one I'd been playing with all of mixed day, three matches, passes, and they were like, oh, deflection. And I was like, this past deflection yesterday, I didn't touch it. And then they were like, Weird. they were like, you must, you know, it could just be like weather, a little yeah. cold if you left it outside. And I was like, I didn't. Like, yeah. I wasn't being rude, but I was like, I was kind of like, this paddle hasn't been hit with. Right. Like, it shouldn't have failed deflection yeah. over a day long period like if it was because if it was a grit spot test again i'd be like okay sure paddles don't feel gritty to me but like it is, it is so there's yeah. also like is there test consistent yeah. consistent yeah. like that's a whole another thing i haven't heard people talking and about and like, the consistency from event to event or yeah, from event to event. like when, when they travel with or, these with these machines because like usa pickleball does not travel with deflection machines right so how like can the machine handle travel like there's there's right. a lot of stuff that we just don't know right. like why are all the 002s failing at mlp then 002s are fine at PPA Daytona, yeah, right. you know what I yeah. mean? So that it's like, it's a different standard or it's the machine is working with it because companies are not bringing out new batches of paddles this fast. Right. Yeah, there's no yeah. way. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, so I, I'm, I make paddles now. And so I know the a little bit about it. And there is a lot of inconsistency in the manufacturing. Like they can't get the paddles exact, right. even from one to one, especially like on unibodies. Cause unibody, like if you know paddles, ones that are sandwich paddles are made in batches of like, let's say 30 or 40 in a bunch that is cut out of one sheet. So those are probably all really consistent. Okay. But thermoforms like you play, unibodies, they're made in molds one by one. Like literally your one paddle gets made for two or three hours in a mold then gets pulled out. Well, depending on the exact amount of time it was in that mold, the amount of pressure in that mold, that, you know, what the temperatures were in that moment, that paddle could be a little bit different literally from one to the next, not yeah. just batch a right. hundred or batch a thousand, but one to one. So, and I, I say kudos to the companies for pushing the limit because they're pushing the limit, obviously. They're they, putting it right yeah. to the edge. And so if half are failing, it's like Zane says for serving, I want to miss one in 10 serves long. Like I feel like a paddle should be that way too. I feel like half should oh. be failing because then you know you're getting the paddle right to that limit. Mm. And the, that's going to make the pro the happiest, I would think, right? I don't know that half should be failing, but it's like, those paddles are passing for the most part USA pickleball standards. Right. They're not being made to to these stricter standards. Right. So it's like that's I think that's a big reason why we're yeah. seeing so many failures. But I also like it's very strange yeah. to me that if it's the same test, like why is there such a big difference right. event to event? And I also I was I think that the solution to kind of some of this transparency stuff is really really simple. I feel like both PPA and MLP need to. I don't think it's a big overhead change. It's like you submit your paddles for the match and they send a text to the players like. And each a representative from each team just goes and literally sits in the room while they test the paddles. Right. And then you know, and and, and it shouldn't be like something they're trying to hide the score of like, because yeah, sometimes they, yeah. they won't tell you like the number of your grit. They, they they don't want to tell you for some reason. It's like, you should say, you yeah. know. And so then you know, and so you know, like if if like the at MLP like all the paddles for squeeze versus DC are going to get tested now. We send our. GM, they send their coach. It's not a big deal. Or same if, if it's like a, a PPA doubles match because starting at the quarters, you know, like if I was playing with James, like I could go. And then if we're playing like uh, Ben and Annalise say, or, or like the Johnsons, like they can just send like Mircha or Julie. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. And then it's just, there's no questioning of. Are they just, just passing anything. it or not passing exactly, it? Exactly, right? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You know, is there any favoritism you know, for you some know brands mine got, or anything? I got favoritism. They passed mine even though it failed. Did you know that story? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll probably get in trouble again, but I was playing a Pro XR and it failed the grit test. And I told the guys like, hey, I'm like a 5-0. No one cares. I'm not going to win matches. And if I do, they're not going to blame the paddle, I promise you. <laughs> and he was like, all right, hey, I passed. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's just like, then you know, because obviously like And grit, I only had one paddle, by the way. That's funny. <laughs> for the whole tournament. It, it's also like, like grit, especially, it's like you can kind of test different spots. Like right. there's, sure. there's things that can yeah. be done that are not hard to do. Yeah. And so I just feel like if there's just someone in the room from each team 
It yeah. will just really eliminate all questioning of Your like idea. the organizations and of, of, of the companies and of other players. And I feel like that could just be huge to getting over like talking yeah. about paddles Agreed. all the time. Yeah, and I Agreed. don't think it's too much of an ask for, you know, like Dale in the PPA player up just says like, hey, we're testing the paddles. And if you choose not to send someone, you just don't get yeah, to be yeah, part sure, of it. You sure. know what I mean? Like but it's like in. just a more organized system. Like yeah. we're testing the paddles for this quarter for sure. now. And then it's just like you t you trust yeah. the test, you trust the the organization, you trust the, the your players, you trust the companies. Right. And That's it's just a great simpler. point. Yeah, I yeah. think it's a really simple thing that would really help us move on to talking about paddles a lot less. Which yeah. I know a lot of pros are happy to talk about, but I always see like comments from fans like We're sick of hearing about paddles. It's like I get it. Yeah, it's too much. I agree. I mean, I think that for most most people who are interested in it don't have that level of expertise or that yeah. knowledge to like even worry about. Yeah, it, I always you know? see people like on these long Facebook threads. It's like saying like just let them all play with hot paddles who cares like you don't understand it's right. so unsafe <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. unsafe yeah. like you can't have that yeah even in high level rec play you're like yeah. get that paddle off the court it's exactly. absurd like <laughs> like like the new gearboxes right it's yeah. like absurd but you know it's exactly it's a kudos to gearbox for figuring out like how to do it because i felt one of the paddles like you can kind of squish it yeah which doesn't make sense because but it passes the test wow. and but it's like kudos to them but it's like we need ben johns has talked about it so much we need to move away from deflection to like literally exit velocity, exit yeah. velocity. Exit yeah. velocity. yeah 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 yeah, that makes sense. Wow. Okay. Well, then, yeah. Let's let's not let's not talk about paddles yeah, too much yeah. in case we bore <laughs> right, everyone yeah. to death. <laughs> I feel like people listening to your podcast are nerds. Maybe so. they. Maybe they. Oh, that would be mm. interesting.